Hi, welcome. It's Michael LaMonaco again doing some home cooking. And I've been getting some requests on the videos that we've been doing. And one of the requests was for eggplant parmesan. Karen said, make eggplant parmesan. And I thought, that's an excellent idea. So let's do eggplant parmesan. Beautiful eggplants. And I'm going to slice them now for eggplant parmesan. And I'll show you my process which I think is a really good, simple process. Slice the eggplant, not too thin. So I've got about a quarter of an inch, and I'm slicing this a little bit differently than you might be accustomed to. So let me slice the other one as well, and then we'll see what we do next. So now I've taken my cut eggplant and I put it into a colander. I have a dish underneath, and I'm salting it. The slices get salt. The salt helps to extract the bitter flavors that are sometimes in the flavor components of eggplant. And we're gonna wash this salt away later, but for now we'll do that. I put a paper towel on top and a weight, like a can of tomato or a can of anything, and some weight, and we give it about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna let that drain We'll come back, and meanwhile, I'm going to go work on a jigsaw puzzle. So there you go. It's been draining for about 45 minutes. You see that liquid? That's all bitter. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the eggplant with a little cool water, and then I'll dry it. The salt is gone. The bitter liquid is gone, and now we'll dry it very well. Make sure you dry it very well. So now I dried all the moisture, all the water off the eggplant, all that bitterness is gone, and now we're going to fry it. Now this is where it's a little different. I cut it in rounds. I'm not putting any gluten on this. There's no breadcrumbs, there's no flour, there's no egg, just eggplant and olive oil. So let's start frying the eggplant. And you need a fairly generous amount of olive oil. You could use vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil if you like. But now we're gonna start frying. Okay, so get it nice and hot. Just be careful. Now we're gonna fry this on both sides just to a light brown and then we'll take them out. I don't blot them dry because that's my olive oil. I'm using olive oil and I want that flavor in the dish and it won't be too greasy. It won't absorb a lot, it really won't. So let's fry it all up and then we'll come back and assemble our eggplant parmesan. Okay, so the last batch of eggplant is ready to come out of the saute pan and I've just been sauteing them in olive oil and I've got them here, just cooling off a little bit Remember, no breadcrumbs, no flour. I don't use any of that. This is just really, it's gluten-free, of course, but it's really just the eggplant is what's so delicious, and then the cheeses and tomato sauce, you'll love it. So let's get this out of the pan, and we'll let them cool, and then we'll assemble it. And the only thing I'll do now, and I've been doing all along, is seasoning with black pepper. That's it. They had enough salt to begin with, and that's all. Okay, we're ready. Now we're gonna assemble our eggplant parmesan. This is a really, this is a good looking version of eggplant parmesan with all of the traditional flavors, but with a slightly different look. And that gives you a great opportunity to serve this and with a little bit more elegance. So I'm putting tomato sauce down. This is a simple marinata sauce. And now I'll go and I'll start to put in the base layer and it's not a casserole. These, these little towers of eggplant parmesan will just be beautiful and they'll be flavorful. So we go first with a little bit of the tomato sauce, the eggplant, now some parmesan cheese on each. Remember, parmesan, and then some mozzarella. Now I shredded the mozzarella. I shredded it. You can just put a little right in the middle. And then a little bit more tomato sauce on top of each, just like that. And when I come back, you'll see the towers, how great they look. Okay, so I've got it all set up, except for the last one I'll show you. We just put one down on top of the tomato sauce. I put a little tomato sauce. Now another layer of eggplant. 
some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella, a little marinata sauce, or just a simple basic tomato sauce like the one I made a few weeks ago. Eggplant, cheese, and this one gets an extra layer. Isn't that good? I like that. That's mine. When I'm finished, that's going to be mine. And I'm saving the basil for the end. We'll finish and garnish with a little bit of fresh basil. Be delicious. These little towers are just so delicious. They're easy to handle. You don't have to cut a casserole. And they make a great presentation for a simple dish. Oven is at 350 degrees. We'll check it in 20 minutes. Could take 20, 25 minutes. And now we'll bake this. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Now I gave it 20 minutes. I checked it at 20 minutes. It needed an additional five minutes. So there we go. About 25 minutes, depending on your oven. They look beautiful and they smell even better. Now you could put basil leaves on all of them. You could garnish it with basil. I think that's just perfect and delicious. And you can top it with a little bit more sauce. We have a little tomato sauce here. Let's put a little additional tomato sauce on top. This is a great appetizer this way, or have two or more as an entree, and make a little garlic bread or some pasta, and you are good to go. Glass of Chianti, eggplant parmesan. Enjoy.